the second one. Using clutch, brakes, and gas. That's a good one. Now, Kurt is gonna enter the box. He's gonna have four figure eights. First one. That's good. He's keeping it preloaded so he can use the power of the engine anytime when we're using the clutch. Now Kurt's gonna make three left turns, circles, right at this point. And then three left. And that's a third. VI Preloaders, welcome back to the channel guys, always a pleasure to have you guys here with me, you know this by now, or at least you should, for those of you that have never been to this channel before, straighten out, I don't want you to not watch, don't get discouraged by what you just saw me doing, that's not what this channel is about, it's part of what this channel is about. That's extreme. I don't expect all motorcycle riders to be able to do that. And as I stated, it's not what this channel is about. This channel is all about raising your confidence. Anyway, guys, let me start over. Welcome. My name's Robert. I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle lieutenant. And the name of this wonderful channel is called Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle. And that's what this is about. It's not about making 18 foot U-turns or dragging your footboards or anything like that. But what it is about is raising your confidence so that you don't have to think twice when you're out there in the real world riding your motorcycle. You don't have to think twice about making a U-turn or a left turn or a right turn. But what we focus on mainly on this channel is riding your motorcycle at slow speeds between one and 10 miles per hour, because that's really gonna determine whether you actually know how to ride your motorcycle. Now there's no arrogance on this channel, there's no judgment, there's no name calling, none of that, there's no negativity, period. All right? This is preloader nation. We're all about positivity. This is an each one, teach one environment. I'll never claim to know everything. We learn something new every day. And if you don't think you did, you gotta really think about it. I, I bet you you did, no matter how small it may be. We emphasize practice here, practice, practice. We know that we follow the three C's here in Preloader Nation. That's confidence, control, and consistency. 
right? You follow those things and everything's gonna work out just fine. Anyway, this is a practice session that I'm at right now. This is actually practice session number 60, guys, 60. And um, I got some VI preloaders and preloaders coming here today uh, to practice. And this is what we do. Listen, there's no pressure out here. Uh, everybody knows that I have nine uh, exercises out here, 10, 11, may as well say 12. 12 things that we do out here, maybe 13. 13 things that we do out here, so it's a long day. But that doesn't mean it's a long day for everybody here because there's some people that come and they do a few exercises and then they say, okay, that's it. I, they leave or they just stand by and they observe. Or as we move forward, they go back to the stuff that we did prior to that and practice that. So that's the kind of environment we have here. This is not a class. It's a practice session. And I help people out in that practice session. All right, guys. So when the VI preloaders get here, um, we're going to meet them, find out who they are, where they're from, what they're riding, how long they've been riding. More importantly, how long they've been practicing slow speed riding, because that's what's really most important. And what they rate themselves on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best in slow speed maneuvers. Again, there's no wrong answer to that. That's their number and it's humbling out here. Sometimes people say they're one number and by the end of the day, that number changes either up or down or sometimes it stays the same. All right, let's do this. What's your name? Uh, Penny Gonzalez. Where are you from, Penny? I'm from, oh gosh, <laughs> California. What part? Chino Hills. Did you ride a motorcycle from California? No, we, I rode some of it, but we're in a toy hauler, so um, I just, we pull it out and I ride it sometimes, and we're traveling the country. Beautiful. Um, how long have you been riding a motorcycle? I've been riding a motorcycle for four years, but I've been on two wheels for about 10, because we had really big scooters before that, which is silly, but we know, like, I have really good experience on road strategy mm -hmm. and understanding mm -hmm that part of it, mm -hmm. but I've only rode a motorcycle for four years. What are you riding today? Today is Indian Chieftain, 2021. Wow. How long you had that bike? One year. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Um, about, well, I've always worked on that, mm -hmm. but really, really working on it for like six months. Beautiful. And if you had to give yourself a rating, one to 10, 10 being the best slow speed, what would you give yourself? I'd still say like a four. Oh, it's excellent. Well, That's well, you know, I was better with my older bike because it was a smaller Sportster mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Harley, and it was it was easier to maneuver. Okay. And I know it's supposed to be once you learn the skills, it doesn't matter what you're riding. Mm -hmm. But up here, I'm like, oh my god, it weighs a lot more. All right, you noticed that she said up here, <laughs> because that's a huge portion of the challenges we face out here. Up here, we don't have. You have any physical nope. disability? So it's not physical. No. Nope. It's mental. Oh well, my legs are shorter. I could flat foot my other bike, uh -huh. and on this one, I cannot completely flat foot, mm -hmm. so there's a little tiny fear that, I, and I could also catch my other bike, and if I if, if you, I had yeah. a, if I had an accident, I could, mm -hmm. I had, could catch it. It was only How are you going to catch it today? I'm not going to catch it. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, like open up the clutch. Open up my clutch. There we go. <laughs> All right, and why are you here today? I'm here because I need the practice, and I want to support you, and... Um, Man, we're big fans. Thank you. Pleasure <laughs> to meet you, dear. Take care. What's your name? Omer Kenworthy. Go by Oak. My initials are Oak. Where are you from, Oak? Tallahassee, Florida. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? About seven hours. <laughs> 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 no, I rode some way back in uh, 79, my early years of the military. A okay. uh, couple of years, just a dirt bike. Okay. But uh, just acquired uh, this one just shortly. Uh, Thank you for your service. What are you riding today? Uh, 2006 Honda Goldwing. How long have you been riding that motorcycle? About six hours. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Private lesson yesterday, about four hours. <laughs> yes, we did a private lesson yesterday. Just an outstanding four hours spent. I told, I told uh, Oak, that's the best. It might have been the first four hour lesson I've had. If not, it's definitely the best as far as what we got out of those four hours. Um, if you had to give yourself a rating, 1 to 10, 10 being the best, slow speed, what would you give yourself? 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. What about when you first got here yesterday? Negative 20. <laughs> <laughs> and why are you here today? Be the boss of my motorcycle. Here we go, brother. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Jerry Smith. 
Jerry, you look familiar. Have you been in a practice session before? Uh, I've been here about four or five times. Okay. Um, and he's good. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, no fear in that man. Um, how long have you been riding the motorcycle? Uh, off and on, probably 30 years. I've only been riding on the highway about five years. Okay. And what are you riding today? Uh, 2016 Ultra. How long have you been riding that bike? Uh, about four years. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Uh, probably about three years. If you had to give yourself a rating, 1 to 10, 10 being the best in slow speed, what would you give yourself? Mm, I'm going to say 6. Okay. I'm going to let you guys know right now, he's sandbagging. He is not a 6. You just did lock and lean, right? Uh, yeah, I've done that back in May. Three-day course? Yep. Yeah. Something I'm thinking about doing, too. Guys, you gotta, you got to always practice. And I practice out here, but it's nice to be under somebody else's tutelage and somebody else's course. You know, again... What we do out here, I say, if you could do this, you could pretty much do anything. But other stuff could be a little more challenging, right? All right, and why are you here today? Uh, just to get better. That's what I like to hear. Good to see you again, brother. Good to see you. What's your name? Joe. Joe, where are you from? I'm from Ponte Vedra Beach. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? Oh, um, I started when I was a teenager, then put it down for, you know, 40 years when I was working, and then started back up probably 10 years ago. Beautiful. What are you riding today? I'm riding an electric glide police bike. What year is that? 2021. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Uh, less than a year. Okay. You guys heard that, right? Less than a year. If you had to give yourself a rating, 1 to 10, 10 being the best in slow speed, what would you give yourself? Probably 7, 6 or 7. Okay, good. He's still a little bit of sandbagging here, but he's, <laughs> at least he's not saying 6. Like, he started with the 6, and I was getting ready to get into it. I like the 7. I don't give numbers, but I like the 7 better. And again, I think that's a sandbag too. Another lock and lean guy. He took that course. Um, why are you here today? Well, just to practice. Uh, and I think uh, you know your class is is a very good class. Thank you. It's uh, it's just outstanding for a one day class. It's the best. Thank you, brother. Uh -huh. Good to see you again. All right. All right, guys. We're gonna do one through nine today, and we got a bonus. And I know for a fact that Joe and Jerry are gonna be in that bonus. And we got the slow ride. And we got follow the leader. We're going to have a ball out here. We got to have good weather, close to 80 degrees. December 3rd, let's do it. Anybody have a problem being on YouTube? Good. Always have to ask. Welcome to practice session number. Oh, I have no idea. 60. 60. All right, we got a whole number now. 60. Wow. One less than, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so today's going to be good. We're going to, we got good weather. We have all levels of skill here as far as slow speed um but this is an each one teach one environment so and this is including me if if you if you see something that can help somebody else please share it right please share it um we got a long day today but it won't be as long because there's only four of us we got one through nine today plus a warm-up plus the bonus which again well let me start out by saying the bonus i always say you don't have to do that if you don't want to it's a bonus exercise but that rule holds true for everything out here. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. There's no pressure. If we get to a certain point and you say, all right, I already know I'm not there yet. I'm not interested in trying it, Rob. Can I just go back and practice, blah, blah, blah? Yes, no problem. But if you knock down a cone today, please pick it up and put it back exactly or at least in the vicinity of where it was. You know, I'm a stickler for these things. It drives me crazy. Somebody will just put it back and it's all askew. I, it's, you know, I lose sleep over stuff like that. All right. Um, everybody here is familiar with my channel, correct? You said you've been watching over a year. That's great because that saves up some time too. We all know what preload means, what a preloader is. You guys are all VI preloaders. So we um, don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> For those of you that don't know, a preloader is anyone who's dedicated to being proficient in slow speed motorcycle riding and they are subscribed to this channel. That's a preloader. Preload is referring to the throttle. We're gonna preload the throttle, meaning we're gonna get the RPMs up. 1,800, 2,000, whatever. And we want that elevator. We're gonna preload and keep it loaded, which means we're gonna keep it there. All right? All right, good. So we all know that. All right, we all understand, we were talking about it earlier, that if you feel, uh-oh, what are you gonna do? Open up the clutch. That's right. We talked about that yesterday at the private lesson. Um, and Oak is gonna have to work on that clutch control, uh, but not putting your feet down. That's what I don't want you guys to do today. 
If you ever feel like the motorcycle is going to drop, just open your hand either a little bit or a lot, depending on the situation. And I'd rather you ride out of the exercise, hit my cones. They're tough. No problem. Don't stare at them. All right. Even the, even the bigger ones. People said, oh, I can stare at those because they're older. No, they're just bigger. They're still, <laughs> they're still children. It's, you know, it's inappropriate for you to stare at them. You can look. We're realists out here. You look, but don't stare. All right. Don't get fixated on it. Target fixation. All right. Um, the first exercise we're going to do, we're going to go to those torque cones. We're going to do starts and stops. All right. I believe that this exercise is so, so important um, as Oak. Oak and I did yesterday, starting and stopping your motorcycle under control is so important because that's showing where you are as far as being comfortable on your motorcycle, being able to take off nice and easy, trusting and believing that as long as you have power going to the rear wheel, that's really all you need. We don't need speed. We need power. We're all clear on that. Okay. You're going to slowly release the... Oh, I'm sorry. Today. Now, some of you guys that are already kind of you you already have your muscle memory built in because that's one of the reasons we're here today we want to build some muscle memory stand over here penny there we go because i see you fighting the sun oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. we want to build muscle memory that's one of the reasons we're here today uh, all of the reasons that we're here today equal being the boss of our motorcycles and that's what we want to be so um the first there's five steps i want you guys to follow again if you already have muscle memory you're probably not going to do them and that's fine but if you have work, if you're still working on that, please follow these first five steps all day today. Joe, what's step number one? Um, first gear. That's put right. On the, put on the brake. Oh, he got, oh, he's doing them all. <laughs> Good. And then uh, you find the uh, sweet spot in your clutch. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you, you get it there, preload, let off the brake and go. All right. So he said it kind of quick, just in case my mic didn't pick it up. Step number one, which is always step number one, make sure the motorcycle's in first gear. Make sure it's in first gear. And when we were having our private lesson yesterday, I didn't follow my own rule. I went to go, mm, I'm in neutral. That's why we make sure it's in first gear. Penny's riding an Indian, so she can see it's a nice big number they're showing her, but I still want her to check anyway. A, because sometimes the number's not right. And B, sometimes you're not on an Indian. You might be riding something else. If it's already in your muscle memory, you're gonna do it even if the number's there. Step number two, we cover the rear brake. We understand covering it means we're putting our foot on it. Doesn't mean you're applying pressure, right? But if you want to get to it, your foot's already there. So the likelihood of you stabbing at it lessen, right? Again, today, I should have started with this. We're going to take our egos, we're going to throw them in the pond. No, nah, don't throw them in the pond. Just throw them on the curb because I want you to get it back before we leave. We're here to learn, no egos. So when I say we're all ballet dancers today, Suck it up, guys. We're ballet dancers today, meaning we're going to move on our motorcycles with grace and fluidity. Everything we do is subtle. You don't need to do anything herky-jerky on the motorcycle. At slow speeds, those herky-jerky movements are exaggerated. So we want to do everything nice and easy. All right? Okay. Um, and that's why we're going to go over this exercise first. Taking off nice and easy, coming to a stop. Nice and easy. All right? One with the motorcycle. Step number three, preload the throttle and keep it loaded. Step number four, we're going to slowly release the clutch into the friction zone. Everybody here is comfortable with where their friction zone is. Good. So now that we don't have to worry about that, we just have to worry about you opening it up slowly. Because if you open your clutch up slowly, remember, we're already preloaded. As soon as your motorcycle starts to move, step number five, pick up our foot. We're not going to be keeping our foot down like this while the motorcycle is moving. Just like we're not going to put our foot, our foot down while we're coming to a stop and do this. All right. This is about being coordinated, too. Guys, everything's not going to be perfect. That's not the goal out here. All right. Um, we're still on two wheels, so sometimes you're not going to stop you know, the way you want to. But it should be an every now and then thing, not an all the time thing. Like stopping your motorcycle shouldn't be an adventure. All right. That's my point. All right. Any questions? All right. Nice. You guys see that stop that Penny did? Now, when Penny first got here, she wasn't stopping like that. But. She's on board now. All right, guys, warm-up exercise. Short starts and stops. Let's do it. You know what you're doing? Just pull right here. All right, make sure you keep your head and your eyes straight ahead. 
Those two fingers shouldn't be coming up here. <laughs> Good, reload. Not bad. Nice, Penny. I want your front wheel at the at the next cone, not past it. Start off a little slower. Good job. All right, you can park. Park where we came from, yeah. That was good. I think uh, Penny's hustling me. Nice, Joe. Nice. Start off a little slower, Joe. Excellent. You can park. All right, Jerry. Nice. One more. Good job, Jerry. Notice Jerry's eyes are straight ahead. All right, Oak. Front wheel at the cone. Preload, preload. All right, he's got his fingers over that front brake, but he didn't grab it. <laughs> we worked on this a long time yesterday. Preload, I want to hear it. There we go. Even on a gold wing, I want to hear the, I want to hear the preload. It's quiet, but I can still hear it. All right, remember, front wheel at the cone. One more. I'm lying, it's gonna be more than one more. Ah, much better, one more. All right, good job, good park. Reload, reload, reload. So I'm looking at his um, his gauge cluster and his preload, is, it's too low. So that's why as soon as he picks up his foot, he's feeling falling. All right, let's talk about it. So I do like saying preload, but I don't say it just because I like it, right? It's, 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 it's really important. So now, Oak, oh, did you notice that when you went to move, as soon as you picked up your foot, immediately you felt yourself falling? And, that's, and I'm looking at your tachometer, I'm looking at the... The RPMs, and they're at like a thousand. Like it's too low. Preload your throttle, but this is a whole, this is a clutch control thing too. That's what we talked about yesterday. Slowly release the clutch. So you shouldn't even be picking up your foot until you're feeling the motorcycle starting to bite. You, start, you feel it starting to move. Once you feel that, pick up your foot, you're fine. But if you feel like, uh oh, just open up the clutch a little bit more. You're already loaded, so you're fine. All right? And I noticed another thing that all you, Penny, I think you're hustling me now. Because the way you stopped over there is not the way you stopped when you first pulled up here. That was excellent, right? And all you guys are doing pretty much the same thing. Um, and I just did a video about this coming to a smooth stop, or, you know, not using the front brake. And when you're getting to a stop, sometimes we can coast to the stop. We could pull the clutch in and balance works out, put our foot down, no problem. And in that case, yeah, you can use the front brake. You just got to be very careful with it. But when it doesn't work out, that's when we have to go back into the friction zone just a little bit to straighten us out. And all of you guys did that. So very impressive. Like I said, it's going to be an easy day. I can already see it. Anybody have any questions? All right. Next thing we're going to do is um, stops and starts. Not the same as this because now you're going to have some distance. You guys are going to go around here. You're going to start from all the way down there. I'm going to be down here. You guys are going to ride toward me. This is not emergency braking. I don't need you to speed, but I do want you to go up to second gear. All right, purpose of this exercise is I want to get you accustomed to riding at a certain speed, downshifting from second gear to first gear, initially using your front brake or both brakes to slow the, mo to slow the motorcycle down, because if we really want to stop, front brake, and then right before your stop, to, eat, to finish off that stop, to make sure it's slow and controlled, get off that front brake, rear brake only, you guys are going to notice that what we did in that warm-up, what we're going to do right here, but really that warm-up, you're going to be doing that all day today, right? 
And I'm a, I'm a big stickler on that. Anytime you guys need to move your motorcycle and come to a stop, we're practicing bringing that motorcycle to a smooth stop. We don't want to be stopping like this, right? Shouldn't have a lot of compression in the front suspension. Should be nice and easy, foot down. Now, yes, once you put the left foot down, if you want to put the right foot down, that's fine. Um, but we're practicing that because that's how it should be, right? Because it's something we always have to do, we should be excellent at it. That's my opinion, at least, all right? All right, any questions? Come on over, brother. We got to get you on camera so everybody sees what late people look like. <laughs> What's your name? Come on over. I know your name, but... Sam. Sam, you participating today? Yes. You still a VI preloader? Yes. What happened to your... Well, I don't want to drop it, so I bought another one so I can learn my skills. All right, guy. Get on in here. All right. You guys, any questions on the next exercise? All right. You guys meet me down there. Not meet me down there. You guys head down down there? Let's do it, Sam. All right, guys. Exercise number one. Stops and starts. We're a penny going first. Excellent, Penny. Park right here. Nice preload. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a good day today. Whoa. Outstanding. Park right here. He came fast. He's on the front brake, front brake, front brake. And right before he was going to stop, he finished off with the rear brake. That was, that was beautiful. Nice, Jerry. And of course, he had a lot of compression in his front suspension, but that's because he's going faster. So clearly, you're going to have more, if you're coming to a stop, and from a speed, your front suspension is going to have more compression. But he still, it was still smooth, right? Not out of control at the end. Excellent. Last we got Sam. We didn't get a chance to talk to Sam. Sam just slid in here. All right, Sam, we're gonna do that again. So remember, I don't need you to go really fast. I do need you to get to second gear. But remember, we're using the front brake to stop this motorcycle pr primarily. Because you're going, if you're gonna go at that speed, especially front brake, front brake, front brake, rear brake to finish it off. Okay. All right, try it again. So I'm going to have them try it again because I need people to know they hear me say so much don't touch that front brake that I don't want people thinking that if you're going that fast you should be using the rear brake no front brake if you really want to stop that motorcycle rear brake gives you control and at that speed that he's going that's why his rear wheel is locking up if your rear wheel is locking up you're going too fast to be using just the rear brake or you're applying too much pressure to it All right. Not bad. All right, guys, we're going to move on to exercise number two. The slow ride. Let me talk to them first. So Sam went out and got a Honda Rebel. <laughs> Look, I can't get it on that big boy. I'm like, all right, I got to start smaller, get my skills up, transfer. Okay, so what practice session were you in, Sam? Do you remember? Yeah, you're in the single digits, right? Today is 60. Yes, Sam said he bought the 250 because, what do you ride? It's a, a Road Glide. He rides a Road Glide. Special? Road Glide Limited. It's a Limited. And I believe it's got a 131 engine on it, correct? Yes, sir. All right. And you, you were last here, practice session number two. Yeah, 2020. Yeah. And Sam said he bought this because he can't get it on the Road Glide. He wants to practice on this, get his skills up. Sam, when's the last time you practiced? Really practiced? A month, ago. a month ago. Okay, so you're practicing. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess with Sam because I've seen Sam at Holly Davidson, you know, but I haven't seen Sam out here. And I, I guarantee you if Sam came out here on the regular, because Sam's local, he wouldn't be on that Rebel. He'd be on his bike. It's not a bad thing, but I want him to understand that the rules don't change. The techniques don't change. But that's what I was talking to Penny about. This is what we're dealing with up here. And if he has to do that to help this, then that's what you do. All right. Um, now, when Sam came up here, Sam was flying, right? And then Sam came off that front brake too early. So that's why his rear wheel was locking up. So I have to say this. I know people hear me say all the time, stay away from that front brake. 
I'm, I'm, I'm referring to slow speeds. If you're going that fast, that's front brake, front brake, front brake. You need to get that motorcycle to a speed where now you can control it if you had to swerve. We'll talk about that when we get to exercise number five, single serpentine. Any questions on that? All right, we're cooking with grease now. Next exercise, we're gonna do the slow ride. You guys are gonna go to the same place you went before. This time, Penny, feel free to come around the corner if you want, or you can sit there, it doesn't matter, as long as you can see me. And then you're gonna ride to me, I'm gonna be standing right there. Basically, I'm just gonna be having you do just what you did, ride up to me. You don't have to go to second gear this time. I'm just watching you start and stop. And then when I say, are you ready? We're gonna do a slow ride. You're gonna ride next to me. You're gonna be at my ride, my walking pace. Don't go faster than me. Several ways to do this, right? You can go in and out of the friction zone. You can stay in the friction zone. Wherever your clutch is, keep it there. Wherever your throttle is, keep it there. And drag the rear brake if you want, however you wanna do it. The purpose of this exercise is I don't want you to be able to ride in a straight line. All right, I want you to feel like the motorcycle is gonna force you to turn the handlebars to balance it. And when you think foot, no, because we know the answer is this, all right? That's the answer. We need power, bam, that's the answer. Bike's falling, that's the answer. I wanna put my foot down, that's the answer. This way too. Any questions? All right, let's do it. All right guys, exercise number two, the slow ride. You have to take off, foot up. Penny's looking good. Nice, ready? All right, let's do it. Excellent, Penny, you can park over there. Excellent. Excellent. All right, Joe, you ready? Let's do it. All right, good job, Joe. All right, Sam, you're looking smooth, man. You're looking smooth. Let's do it. Outstanding. Good ball. I'm noticing that Joe is kind of smashing at that rear brake. Remember, we want to drag the rear brake. We don't want to stab at it. Ready? Yep. Do it. All right, Jerry. You're going too slow. <laughs> and this is what Jerry does. Jerry does this back home. A little slow, slow speed competition. No, 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 come on, come on. All right, now we start the slow speed. Ready? Right. Looking good, let's do it. Happens. Reload. Let's do it. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good. 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 You can park. All right, guys. Let's talk about it. That was good. I got to get out of this shirt. It's getting hot. Good job with that, guys. Uh, so remember, when we're covering the rear brake, right? If you see your motorcycle is pop locking, meaning it's going like this, that means you're stabbing at the rear brake. We want to drag the rear brake, find a good spot and keep it there. There's a lot of finesse going on with you, not you. Not finesse the challenger. But there's a lot of finesse that you have to do, a lot of coordination. This is what I mean when I say we're ballet dancers, like everything is gentle. So you don't have to do a lot. You know, small inputs into your motorcycle is all that's necessary usually i'm not talking about in extreme circumstances right so as you're doing exercise number two you find a good spot and if every now and then you want to come off the brake you come off a little bit because we're still dragging it 
right? If you're coming off a lot and going on a lot, that's why your bike's going like this. Sometimes that's going to happen, but just something to be mindful of, all right? Um, and what we're working on, yes, we definitely got to work on friction zone because even if I hear your throttle up, which I want, remember, we want to try to keep our RPMs elevated, not high, not low, elevated. Listen to the sound, try to keep it there as if we were on an EKG machine. We, do, we want a flat line, right? Oh, but it, well. yeah, we do, on the, we do out here. <laughs> we do out here. So if your RPMs are up and you still feel like you're falling, it's because your clutch is pulled in, right? Or you're not in the friction zone enough. So this is what I mean when I say being the boss of your motorcycle, it means you need to know what to do, when to do, do it, and how to do it based on what you feel, based on what you see, you know, those things. So that's why the more we practice and we get this muscle memory, all of these steps and stuff, they go away. You just know what to do and you do it, right? So I used to always say, when I was a young rookie cop, this is true with pretty much anything, learn how to do things the, 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 the correct way initially, and then you can take shortcuts and do what you want to do, right? All right, any questions on that? Moving right along, exercise number three, trust and believe. Penny, do you trust and believe that as long as I'm going to come over there because you got this helmet on, I, I'm not going to be able to hear you. You, she's already shaking her head no. <laughs> That's the hardest one for me. So you don't trust and believe? It, it's really hard because I'm not flat-footed, so I feel, I don't know. I could do it, but it's the most scary thing. Okay. <laughs> so Penny said it's the hardest for her because she's not flat-footed. What that has to do with this exercise, I have no idea. Because I've seen you stop very nicely and put that foot down. That's all you need because you're only going to have one foot down. Right. And I already know Joe trust and believe. Finesse, do you trust and believe? I'm going to have to put a no loitering sign up here. I'm not doing it. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> you trust and believe that as long as you have sufficient power going to the rear wheel, you're going to be okay. Yeah, we're working on that. Okay. Honest answer. I know Jerry trust and believe. Yeah, I trust and believe. And this is what I mean, guys, when I say I had a private lesson with Oak yesterday. And I just knew when we got to trust and believe, based on what I saw before that, it was going to be a problem. Man, he rocked trust and believe. I couldn't understand it. And that's why I'll never tell somebody, if you can't do this, don't try this. Because we all learn differently for whatever reason. So you got to let people try it at least. And if, they, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. All right. So there's five steps to this, guys. Almost the same. The only difference is with the clutch. So the first step, we're going to make sure it's in first gear. Step number two, preload. Uh, I'm sorry. Cover the rear brake. Step number three, preload. And keep it loaded, guys, all the time on this exercise. Step number four, this time we're going to bring the clutch right before the friction zone. I don't want you in the friction zone because I don't want the motorcycle moving. Right before it, all right? Step number five, pick up your left foot without the motorcycle moving. I want you to feel the motorcycle start to fall. When you feel that feeling, open up your clutch hand nice and easy, right? Now, if you count to five Mississippi and wait for the motorcycle to be this far over, yeah, that's not the time to open it nice and easy. You're going to have to open it up, right? And, you know, depending on where your preload is, you might even have to throttle. A lot of people are so focused on picking up their foot, they forget about the preload. The preload goes down, they squeeze in the clutch, and then they drop the bike right here at the exercise. Not a huge deal, right? Not a big deal at all. Um, dropping your motorcycle is par for the course. I say that all the time, but this is a tip over if that happens, all right? I don't want you to pick up your foot and just open your clutch. I need you to feel falling, all right? That's the purpose of this exercise. This is gonna help transition your brain when you associate falling. It's not gonna be put my foot down. It's gonna be just open my hand. And that's why it's called trust and believe. I, I'm a firm believer that the first exercise we did, the warm up exercise, short starts and stops, and this exercise, trust and believe, this is the key, I think, to success out here. Because if I ask all of you guys, what do you fear most, riding 50 or 60 miles per hour and having an accident or dropping your motorcycle at low speeds? Most people are going to say dropping the motorcycle at low speeds. And that's where this comes in. If you really trust and believe that this is the answer to that because you're already preloaded, that fear is going to dissipate because you, you know what to do. When you feel like you're falling, people panic because in that moment, oh, my God, falling is an out-of-control feeling. We don't like to be out of control. That's why we don't like the way it feels. But if we know all I got to do is this, wow, that corrects it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying once you get this, now every time you feel falling, your heart rate's not going to go up. It's not going to go up as much, though. I can tell you that, right? And depending on 
sometimes we are planning on leaning the motorcycle and maybe we're, the, we're in the wrong spot in the friction zone, so it goes over a little bit more. In that moment, we correct it, but we had a pucker effect. The pucker effect doesn't go away, all right? Let me let you know that. Finesse knows that he's been out here drifting for the longest. All right, let me give you a quick demonstration. Oh, how could I forget? And guys, when you open up the clutch and the motorcycle moves, I want you to come to a controlled stop. All right, everybody know the three C's? Out here in Preloader Nation, confidence is always first and foremost. Consistency, meaning we're gonna do this more than once, practice, and control. Yeah, I, I, we're, gonna be out, we're gonna be in control out here all day, all right? Or at least that's the goal, all right? We're also not gonna be duck walking our bikes today, all right? And that includes with one foot or two. I don't care what distance you're going, when we did the warm-up, that was 15 feet apart. So if you need to move from here to here, make sure it's in first gear, cover the rear brake, blah, 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 blah. All right? So. First gear. Cover the rear brake. Reload. Clutch. All right. Pick up my foot. Control stop. What we're also not gonna do today is stop with our handlebars turned, all right? We always wanna straighten out. So the, re the way you guys were stopping in the warm-up exercise, and I said kudos to you all because you went back into the friction zone to make sure you evened out that stop, brought your foot down nice and easy. That's what you do when you need to straighten out before a turn too, a slow turn. Clearly, you can't do that coasting. So that means you need to be in the friction zone. Be in the friction zone, friction zone, friction zone, and as soon as you straighten out, Smooth stop. Friction zone, friction zone, friction zone. Straighten out, nice and easy. Any questions? All right. All right, guys, exercise number three, trust and believe. All right. First gear. Yes, you know why? Because I could see it. <laughs> Cover the rear brake. Preload your throttle. Keep it there. Let it out. Oh, you had it. Oh, stop right there. Stop right there. Go around. Let's do it again. All right, you got this, Joe? Trust and believe. Stop. All right, try that again. The motorcycle was moving. Don't let it move at all, Joe. There we go. There we go. Stop. Outstanding. He, he, went, he didn't even have the motorcycle running. He was like, ah. All right, you remember this? Make sure you're in first gear, cover the rear brake, yep. reload. Trust and believe, baby. No, don't move it, stop. Don't let it move. Try it again from here. Pick up your foot, make sure that motorcycle's not moving. There we go, let it out, let it out. Come to a stop. Maybe not. All right, show them how it's done, Jerry. Come to a stop. Nice, Jerry. All right, make sure you're in first gear. Yes, cover the rear brake. Preload that throttle and keep it there. Clutch right before the friction zone. When you're ready, pick up your foot. Make sure. There we go, come to a smooth stop. Nice, do it again. That was nice. Good job, Oak. Come on, Penny. Now, you, I like to have them come from this direction because we're already practicing making a 90 degree turn. Head nice, Penny. Good, good, good. 
Trust and believe, Penny. Well, you know what? This, your, 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 now, right here, when you were making that left turn, your RPMs were good. They were, you heard it, right? It was high enough. But, and you made the turn. You had to turn. And then when you got right here, you didn't like the way it felt. And you pulled the clutch in. And that's why you, you know. All right. Yeah, pull to the right. Okay, you're good. All right. Good, good, good. Oh, that was it. That was it. Let's try that again. <laughs> Remember, nice and easy. You're coming to a stop. Nice and easy. All right, good job. We'll do it again. Everybody doesn't need to do this, but some people do, so we don't have a lot of people, so. We'll do it again. Nice. Yep. All right. When you finish this, just follow Joe. That was it, baby. There we go. Come to a stop. I forgot to remind him to come to a stop. All right, Jerry, once you finish, you can head over there. Nice, Jerry. Head and eye straight ahead. Oh, now yesterday, remember when you were making those turns? Yep. And I was watching you, just going around in a circle. Yep. That's all you're doing here to make this turn into here. Straight up. Don't lean the motorcycle. All right. When you're done, just head over there. I need to come to a stop, right? That's right. Come to a stop. Good. Preload. Good. You're moving. Don't move. There we go. Let's try it again. That's right. Straighten out. There we go. There we go. Oh, man, you had it. Yep. Now, you heard your throttle go? Yep, I did. Clutch was in. Yep. That's great. Don't move. Yeah. Good, good, good. Pick up that foot. Let it out. Easy. Good job. All right, go ahead over there. Come on, Penny. Nice. Remember, we put that foot down when we're stopping, not when, well, we know we're going to stop, not when we're stopping. Okay? That way you don't stop and, and your foot's like this. All right. Let's try that again. Am I supposed to stop after I do it? Yes. Woo, that was it. Remember, you want to feel falling. Don't just pick up your foot and open up the clutch. Easy. Yes, you can. We'll try one more time. Woo. All right. Head over to exercise number four. Why am I struggling? <laughs> we just got here. All right, guys, we're going to move on to exercise number four. Right turns, left turns from a stop. So what I'm finding is Oak and Penny. What you guys are doing is, when you feel uh-oh, you're pulling the clutch in. When really, you should just be letting it out, right? And that's why, you know. Um, and Oak, I already talked to you about the friction zone coming around that turn, and Penny as well. Listen, I'm glad we're here, and there's nothing out here is done haphazardly. Everything has a, a purpose and a reason. So the reason why I always have you guys approach that in that 
in, uh, in that direction is I'm already warming you up for this, kind of, right? It's a 90 degree turn. Remember guys, all of this stuff builds on one another. So the, the warm up exercise, the starts, short starts and stops, that's gonna get you comfortable starting out slow. That's why Joe is excellent at that, but I still said, Joe, do me a favor, start out a little slower, right? He doesn't really need it, but if you're starting, if you're accustomed to starting out fast, this is scarier because like Penny said, oh my God, it's so tiny. It really isn't, but it's even tinier if you're going fast. So if you're comfortable starting off slow, and in exercise number two, everybody looked pretty comfortable. That's all this is, guys. All you're doing is turning the handlebars. As long as you're staying in the friction zone, that's why we did trust and believe. You trust and believe that as long as there's power, well, some of you trust and believe it, as long as there's power going to the rear wheel, everything's gonna work out. So if you put all those things together, there's no issue here, right? No issue at all. Eight steps, guys. By the way, I'm sorry. Any questions on trust and belief? All right. This is exercise number four, right turns, left turns from a stop. Um, there's eight steps. Again, if once you get accustomed, there's no more steps. Make sure the motorcycle's in first gear. Cover the rear brake. Preload the throttle and keep it loaded. Keep it loaded throughout this turn. Clutch right before the sweet spot. Step number five is head and eyes, right? Now, I didn't say this to you earlier, but your head and your eyes, I need you to be looking straight ahead if you're going straight and keep your head and your eyes even with the horizon. It's going to help with your balance, right? So, Joe, do I need my head and my eyes to be looking in this direction to make this turn? Yeah. What'd you say, Jerry? Everybody agree with that? Yeah. All right. The real answer is no, I don't. Because what's turning my handlebars is my hands. I can be looking this way and make this turn, right? Head and eyes makes it easier, right? And if you're still trying to get all of this together, it's more important for you. But if you ride like Jerry and like Joe, you really don't need to do all of this to make a turn. They're still gonna make the turn because they're leaning the motorcycle over, which is one of the components of tight radius. They, they, can, they can do a full lock, another component, and they're going slow. If you got all three of those things, head and eyes is just like a little extra thing. But where it is important is for your safety because we're making turns now. So every time I hear about somebody making a turn and running into something or someone, the first thing I say is they weren't looking before they committed to that turn. If you, come, if you turn your head and your eyes and you look, what comes first, head and eyes or handlebars, Joe? Handlebars. What comes first, head and eyes or handlebars? Head, head and eyes. Head and eyes. So if head and eyes are first and I see a car coming, is there gonna be a handlebars? No. no, it's gonna be a rear brake, I'm stopping. Right, so that's why we have to look before we commit. Look before we commit, it's just like marriage. <laughs> look before we commit. So, <laughs> okay. And then step number six, you're gonna slowly release the clutch into the friction zone. Step number seven, as soon as this motorcycle starts to move, pick this foot up, don't do this. Trust and believe. You feel the power, pick it up. And then step number eight, turn the handlebars. Guys, I want you to do this straight up. I don't wanna see any, if I see even a little lean, I'm gonna call you on it. Because again, in my opinion, I am O, that's where bosses are made. If you can ride your motorcycle like you were doing in exercise number two, which all of you shown me you can do, that's all this is. Now, where I lose people is when you have to do it from a stop. All right, I get it. If you feel more comfortable, guys, being on this side when you're making a left turn, knock yourself out. Or if you're on this side making a right turn, fine. I'm letting you know that when I do this, I'm on the line right at this cross. Um, if you want to start further back, that's fine too. I don't want you to be any further back than this third cone. Okay? That's when we're doing it from a stop. Okay? First time we go through here, guys, I just want you to go through without stopping. Just make a left turn. Remember, my speed on everything out here is between 6 and 10 miles per hour. Except this. This is between 1 and 2, maybe 3. That's the speed you're going here. Can you lean your motorcycle, Joe, at 3 miles an hour? No, you can't. It's going to fall. Yeah, it's going to fall at three miles an hour. Three miles, and we're going to talk about that when we get into the U-turn. I don't want you to go fast out here, but I also don't want you going too slow, right? If you're going too slow and you try to lean, the bike's going to fall. It's that simple, right? So we got to kind of split the difference, find out where we're supposed to be, right? And do what needs to be done. So with that being said, first time straight through. Now, some people I notice, 
it's a judgment thing too. They'll come here and they'll get about right here before they start turning. So now if you get that close to these cones, you're gonna have to do something, lean or something, because you're not gonna make the turn. So remember, we're on a motorcycle, you have plenty of room. Start your turn. You can actually start your turn while you're still within the confines of these two cones. Because our goal is we wanna be in the center of this lane, that's the goal. If you're a little bit over here, that's fine. But remember, this is a double yellow line. This tractor trail is coming this way. We don't wanna be right there. We wanna be kinda of over here, all right? All right, any questions? So I'm going to run through, I'm going to go straight through, I'm going to exaggerate, I'm going to, you know, and then the second time we're going to stop or when I tell you, and then you're going to make a left turn and then you're going to stop here, make a left turn and stop. And why are we doing that? Because again, we always want to be under control. So I don't care if you made the turn and then you pop the clutch and spread out that way under control. This is going to be another example of coming out of the turn, straightening out the handlebars, smooth stop. So this is my approach speed. I'm just going to stay at this speed. And nice. Right in the middle. Straighten out. First gear, cover the rear brake, reload. Hey Joe, look. <laughs> so we don't need to look, but I want you to look. Don't do that. All right, and then lastly, stop and stop. Straighten out, stop. Any questions on that? And what I, what I want you to know, guys, is Jerry, if you guys don't know, Jerry, I'm looking forward to follow the, the slow ride with you guys because he's the slow ride champion in his town. Right? They do it in the woods, right, Jerry? <laughs> no paved road, right? Yep. Yeah, you slow ride on the unpaved road. It's a lot more difficult. Anywho, when, I'm, when you guys see me making this turn, and at some points it looks like I'm, actually I am, not, not, not even moving. All I'm doing in that moment is small increments of exercise number three. If I feel the motorcycle getting ready to fall, I open up the clutch a little bit, it, and it, it writes me. Again, that's what I mean when I say small inputs. And as soon as it writes me, I pull it back in. Oh, oh, that's all I'm doing. I'm manipulating the clutch and the rear brake. Also, when I'm coming through here, I'm dragging it. I'm not doing this with my foot. Like if I see your foot going like this, I already know it's, you're doing too much, right? It should be small movements. Any questions? All right, Joe, straight through. Oh, hold up, Joe, 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 what the f <laughs> Joe, come back through. All right, shut it off. Now, what did that show me that's going on with Joe? Head and eyes. If Joe's head and eyes are up, looking straight, he sees me going, Joe, Joe. But he's not looking up. I don't know what you were looking at, Joe. But I was going, Joe, Joe, Joe. <laughs> Head and eyes, guys. A lot of you guys, I noticed right before you start, you're looking at your instrument cluster. I don't know what you're looking at. Keep your head and your eyes up, guys. This is what I mean. You shouldn't start moving until you can actually see what the hell's going on in front of you. And you shouldn't make a turn until you see what the hell's going on there. Nice, Joe. Nice. Nice speed, Sam, nice speed. Straight up, baby, straight up. There we go, beautiful. Jerry gonna show him what's what. Nice, Jerry. Open up that clutch, baby.
Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Friction zone. Don't lean. Don't lean. Woo! Wow. Now you guys might wonder why I'm so impressed. It wasn't even close to doing that yesterday. Keep it loaded. Good. Keep it loaded. All right. It's 10 push-ups. No, no, no. <laughs> Huh? You can't or you don't want to try? I don't think I can. Try it. Nothing to hit but a cone and another Indian rider. Not enough to hit. <laughs> so guess what? Turn your handlebar slightly to the left. Just go through those two cones right there. That's your goal. Slowly release the clutch. There we go. Close enough. Watch that sand. We don't lean in the sand. Straight through again. Yeah, straight through. Straight up, look at him. Excellent, Joe. Excellent, straight up. Straight through. Nice, Sam. Very nice. Head and eyes up, Jerry. Hold up. Dude. Yes, you yes, you leaned, you hit yeah. the big cone, but I don't care. The fact that you made this turn, yeah. holy crap. Yesterday that wasn't happening. All right, let's do it. Straight through. Good. Keep it straight up, head and eyes. Finesse, you're going to learn, don't stand there. Good. Good speed. Keep it just like that, Penny. You can go a little bit faster. Oh, stop right there. Let's back up. Let's back up. Pull the clutch in. Come on. Now I was saying, let's back up. I'm pulling the bike back. This is why I can't practice by myself, because if I'm out there uh -huh. and my husband's not around, I can't pick it up. Okay, so then, you, all right, hold on. Turn it off, we turn it off. Oh. oh okay. Why did the bike drop? Because I let go of the clutch. Because, because you let the, it go? The rear wheel didn't have any power. And why didn't it have and power? I had the wheel. I had this turn. Every time I, every time I dropped my bike, my front wheels were turned. That's yeah. why I have a fear of doing it. But that's why I asked you why did it drop, and you said because I let the clutch out. Two things. I had the, this was turned. There's only one reason why it dropped. It's because you pulled the clutch in. Okay. Remember, it's the only way it's going to drop. It's designed to go straight with power. So when people turn the handlebars, they don't like the way it feels, and the reflex is to pull the clutch in. That's why when you turn your handlebars, that's the only time you've dropped it. Stay in the friction zone the whole time, Penny. The whole time. This is exercise number two. Just with the handlebars turn. Lower, lower. We don't want it that high. There we go. Now remember, we're not doing exercise number three. So you're not picking up your foot when it's not moving. Slowly release it when it starts to move. Pick it up. Head and eyes. What's happening? Why are you not moving? You in neutral? No, you're in first gear. I'm holding your bike, so don't worry about it. Pick up your foot. All right, let it out slow. Slowly, slowly. Turn the handlebars. Turn the handlebars. Turn them. Let out the clutch. Let out the clutch. I'm holding the bike. Don't worry about it. Oh, come on. Come on. Turn it. Turn it. I'm holding the bike, and you're still worried about it. <laughs> come to a stop, Joe. Wherever you want to stop. Well, you know what? No, I'm not giving you an option. Right here. <laughs> right on the tee. All right, left turn straight through.
It happens. Many people would love to have that problem. All right, left turn, straight through. Excellent, Sam. Good. Stop right there. Yeah, do it from there. When you go into that friction zone, stay in that friction zone. Drag that rear brake. This is what was happening yesterday. Yeah. So when you pick up your foot, make sure that you're not picking it up and throwing the motorcycle to the right. Open up the clutch more, that's what's happening too. You're falling because there's no power, or not enough power. Open it up, good, open it up, open it up. Open it up, watch that heel. Straight through. Open up the clutch. You're going too slow. Open up the clutch. No, because you pulled it in. Yeah, and that's what happens when people go, uh oh, they squeeze. When really you need to open up your hand. Good, good, good. Keep it right there, turn the handlebars. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. That was close. Now look where you are. I got it. Watch your back. Yeah. Now you see where you are? You had this turn. Yeah. Where's this? How you turn this off? Yeah, this oh, I just turned it on. Stop. Yeah, but if you look where you are, you had this turn. But once you got here. You think you're so close to this. Yeah, don't worry about that. I know, but you, I th you think you're hugging it. You think huh? you're like right there. You were good. There's that. plenty of room. Plenty of room. I can do it. I know you can. Because that time, <laughs> yes, because that time you kept it loaded up until here and then you pulled the clutch in. Open up the clutch, open up the clutch. Shut it off, shut it off, shut it off. Indians don't, Indians don't like to shut off. Thank you, I'm gonna take a bow. Oh yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> I'll be doing a video on that guys. Stop over here, Joe. Nice. Stop right here. Nice. Jerry, stop right here. Good job. Where are you going? <laughs> Don't stop. Just go straight through, okay. but stop over here. All right. If somebody is struggling to do this, it doesn't make sense to try to have them do it from a stop. Let's first master doing it, just going straight through.
Nice, Joe. Nice. Nice speed, Sam. Nice speed. Straight up, baby. Straight up. There we go. Beautiful. Jerry, you gonna show him what's what? Nice, Jerry. Open up that clutch, baby. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Friction zone. Don't lean, don't lean. Woo! Wow. Now you guys might wonder why I'm so impressed. It wasn't even close to doing that yesterday. Keep it loaded, good, keep it loaded. All right, it's 10 push-ups. No, no, no. <laughs> huh? You can't or you don't want to try? I don't think I can. Try it. Nothing to hit but a cone and another Indian rider. Not enough to hit. <laughs> going, going so guess what? Turn your handlebar slightly to the left. Yeah. Just go through those two cones right there. Oh. That's your goal. Slowly release the clutch. There we go, close enough. Watch that sand. We don't lean in the sand. Straight through again. Yeah, straight through. Straight up, look at him. Excellent, Joe. Excellent, straight up. Straight through. Nice, Sam. Very nice. Head and eyes up, Jerry. Hold up. Dude. Yes, you yes, you leaned, you hit yeah. the big cone, but I don't care. The fact that you made this turn, yeah. holy crap. Yesterday that wasn't happening. All right, let's do it. Straight through. Good. Keep it straight up, head and eyes. Finesse, you're gonna learn, don't stand there. Good, good speed. Keep it just like that, Penny. You can go a little bit faster. Oh, stop right there. Let's back up. Let's back up. Pull the clutch in. Come on. Now I was saying, let's back up. I'm pulling the bike back. This is why I can't practice by myself, because if I'm out there uh -huh. and my husband's not around, I can't pick it up. Okay, so then, you, all right, hold on. Turn it off, we turn it off. Oh. oh okay. Good. All right. So we're dealing with, how come the bike dropped? What's that? Why did the bike drop? Because I let go of the clutch. Because you let, let it go? The rear wheel didn't have any power. And why didn't it have and power? I had the wheel, I had this turn. Every time, I've, every time I've dropped my bike, my front wheels were turned. That's yeah. why I have a fear of doing it. But that's why I asked you, why did it drop? And you said because I let the clutch out. Two things. I had the, this was turned. There's only one reason why it dropped. It's because you pulled the clutch in. Okay. Remember, it's the only way it's going to drop. It's designed to go straight with power. So when people turn the handlebars, they don't like the way it feels, and the reflex is to pull the clutch in. That's why when you turn your handlebars, that's the only time you've dropped it. Stay in the friction zone the whole time, Penny. The whole time. This is exercise number two. Just with the handlebars turn. Lower, lower. We don't want it that high. There we go. Now remember, we're not doing exercise number three, so you're not picking up your foot when it's not moving. Slowly release it when it starts to move, pick it up. Head and eyes. What's happening? 
Why are you not moving? You in neutral? No, you're in first gear. I'm holding your bike, so don't worry about it. Pick up your foot. All right, let it out slow. Slowly, slowly. Turn the handlebars. Turn the handlebars. Turn them. Let out the clutch. Let out the clutch. I'm holding the bike. Don't worry about it. All right, come on. Come on. Turn it. Turn it. I'm holding the bike, and you're still worried about it. <laughs> come to a stop, Joe. Wherever you want to stop. Well, you know what? No, I'm not giving you an option. Right here. <laughs> right on the tee. All right, left turn straight through. It happens. Many people would love to have that problem. All right, left turn straight through. Excellent, Sam. Good. Stop right there. Yeah, do it from there. When you go into that friction zone, stay in that friction zone. Drag that rear brake. This is what was happening yesterday. Yeah. So when you pick up your foot, make sure that you're not picking it up and throwing the motorcycle to the right. Open up the clutch more. That's what's happening too. You're falling because there's no power or not enough power. Open it up. Good. Open it up. Open it up. Open it up. Watch that heel. Straight through. Open up the clutch. You're going too slow. Open up the clutch. No, because you pulled it in. Yeah, and that's what happens. People go, uh oh, they squeeze. When really, you need to open up your hand. Good, good, good. Keep it right there, turn the handlebars. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. That was close. Now look where you are. I got it. Watch your back. Yeah. Now you see where you are? You had this turn. Yeah. Where's this? How do you turn this off? Yeah, first Oh, I just turned it on. Stop. Yeah, but if you look where you are, you had this turn. But once you got here. You think you're so close to this. Yeah, don't worry about that. I know, but you, I th you think you're hugging it. You think huh? you're like right there. You were good. There's that. plenty of room. Plenty of room. I can do it. I know you can. Because that time, <laughs> yes, because that time you kept it loaded up until here and then you pulled the clutch in. Open up the clutch, open up the clutch. Shut it off, shut it off, shut it off. Indians don't, Indians don't like to shut off. Thank you, I'm gonna take a bow. Oh yeah, yeah, come on. Has it been twice? <laughs> Have you seen this? What are you getting ready to do? Go home. <laughs> no. He wants to try to pick up your bike. I can't pick it up. Right on left, left on right. Like this? Yeah, you're pushing with this hand. Uh -huh. You're pulling with that hand. Put one of your feet in front of the other. And you're stepping forward at the same time. Push, pull, and step. If you don't do it simultaneously. There you go. Push, push, pull, step, 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 step. Kickstand? Yeah, of course. Good 
job. Now I gotta learn how to do it. <laughs> yeah, I normally, I seen them do it on the video, but I wasn't try. Now you see this? If you can't pick up your bike, it's probably too big for you, huh? See that? I know, it's my... Every time you get on your bike, no, you scuff it with like your shoes. Husband. But that's why I get on on the high side. I know. Oh, okay. Because I don't have to worry about clearing that. I'll be doing a video on that, guys. Stop over here, Joe. Nice. Stop right here. Nice. Jerry, stop right here. Good job. Where are you going? <laughs> Don't stop. Just go straight through, okay. but stop over here. All right. If somebody is struggling to do this, it doesn't make sense to try to have them do it from a stop. Let's first master doing it just going straight through. Nice. Head and knife, Jerry. Look at my camera. Right turn, straight through. Keep that speed. Keep it loaded. Keep the clutch where it is. Straight through. Yeah, straight through. What's going on, man? How you doing? All right. Go gather. How you doing, Joe? Yes, sir. Jumping in here? Uh, right there. Okay. <laughs> straight up, straight up, straight up. Good. Straight through. Straight up, Jerry. Straight up. Head and eyes. Good job. Excellent. Open up the clutch. Open up the clutch. Good, rear brake, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Remember, we don't lean with the motorcycle. Not at slow speeds. Don't you stop. No, stop here, go straight through. Nice, Joe. Come to a stop. Straight through. Nice. Had a nice look at my camera. No lean, no lean. Good, good. Good, Jerry. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Too much speed, too much speed. You're good, man. Don't worry about the cones. Don't worry about the cones, man. Stop and stop. Good 
Beautiful, Joe. Joe, you can take a break. Stop and stop. All right, make sure you listen to those RPMs. They're a little high, okay? All right, you can take a break. There's water over there, too. Stop and stop, Jerry. All right, beautiful. You can take a break. Open up the clutch. Open up the clutch. Open up the clutch. Penny, you done with this? Okay. Okay. Good. Stay at that speed. Keep your clutch where it is. Rear brake, rear. Oh, there we go. Keep it. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we end on a high note, baby. That's how we end on a high note. All right, guys. Next exercise. Exercise number five, single serpentine. All right, we got Joe here. Nice. Now everybody doesn't have to lean as much as Joe is right here. Okay, we're working it out. We'll do it again, we'll do it again. Easy on those stops, girl. Head and eyes, Jerry, head and eyes. Nice, Sam, nice, nice. Head and eyes, straight ahead, Joe. Straight ahead, Joe, head and eyes. Slow down, too much speed. Nice, Joe, nice. Good, turn it. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, turn it. Good, rear brake, rear brake, lean it, lean it, good, good, lean it. All right, we're working it out, we're working it out. Nice, Sam, nice. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Turn those handlebars, turn it and lean it. All right, remember the first five steps before you move this motorcycle. You make sure it's in first gear, you cover the rear brake, you preload your throttle and you keep it loaded, you slowly release that clutch into the friction zone, and as soon as it starts to move, you pick up your bike. That's what you should be doing all day today. Because from a distance, I see both your feet on the floor, and when it's time to move, you're picking them both up. Follow those steps. And when you go through here, make sure that you're staying in the friction zone, use the rear brake, head and eyes straight ahead. Look at my camera. All right, let's do it. Go out wide. Good. Lean. 
Lean. Good. Slow down. Slow down. Too fast. You turn next. Open the clutch. There we go. Our transitions are too slow. That's the only problem. Penny, you go again. Turn. Very nice. Very nice. All right, Oak, let's do it. Nice and wide, Oak. Nice and wide. Turn. Speed, speed, keep the speed up. You're going too slow. So we were working on that yesterday. He knows that's just something he's got to work on. Clutch control. Let's go, Joe. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Too much speed, too much speed. Good, slow down, slow down, slow down. Turn it, good, turn it. All right, last but not least, we got Oak. Lean it, good. Turn it, turn it, turn it. You're not turning the handlebars, slow down. Keep that foot up. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to exercise number six, the infamous U-turn. All right, as I'm approaching, that nice. Do it from a stop. That nice. Commit. And then last. Straighten out. Stop. Nice, Joe. Excellent, excellent. Keep it loaded, baby. Excellent. Nice, Sam. Your head and your eyes are perfect. Perfect. All right, let's do it, baby. Get those RPMs up. I didn't say go fast, just get the RPMs up. Good, head and eyes. Head and eyes, head and eyes, head and eyes. You're not turning your head or your eyes. Keep that foot up. Oh, shit. Your ankle okay? Stay right there, man. Don't move. I know, I saw. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Open the clutch. Open the clutch. Don't worry about the cones. I'm good. All right, keep that foot up. 
Trust and believe. All right, remember, don't lean with the motorcycle. Same thing. Excellent, Joe. Keep it loaded, good. Too much speed, too much speed, too much speed. All right, you turn. Nice, Joe. Nice catch. All right, you turn. Nice, Jerry. And if you notice, Jerry doesn't keep it loaded. He's a throttle blipper. Like I said, whatever works for you. All right, you turn straight through. <laughs> He's going for it, and he may as well. Straight through. Had a nice commit. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Don't lean. You're leaning with the motorcycle. He's picking up speed in the U-turn, and it's taking him wide. You turn and stop. So Joe, that's what that's what you're doing. You don't lean initially enough, and then at the end, or not the end, the middle, that's when you swoop it. And that's why you're, 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 the end of your turns are like this. Where if you lean, just let it fall right away and just catch it. And watch how smooth that is. All right, Jerry, stop over here. Nice. The advice I'm giving. Oh, you stopping? Stop up here at this line. Good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Good, 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 good. All right, we're getting there. All right, you turn and stop. Now the advice I'm giving Joe, guys, that's advice for Joe, because Joe's got different goals. All right, good job. Watch those RPMs. Throw them too high. Straight through. Good, dip right, slow down, slow down. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Too much speed, too much speed, too much speed. Open up the clutch. Oh. Right turn, right turn, right turn. Straight through, straight through. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, Jerry. Keep it loaded, RPMs are low. Good head and eyes, but no lean. Yeah, she don't like going right. Go ahead, Penny, I got it. I got it, Penny. California license plate. Oh. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> He's going for it though. Got to lean the motorcycle more. That's all. All right. Hogan's gonna get it right here. Good. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa! Good job. But what he's doing is he's straight through. He's not committing to the lean. He's doing that. What I said I didn't want. Gradually turning. Nice, Joe. Nice. Head and eyes, keep it loaded. Lean the motorcycle, lean the motorcycle. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now guess what? I'm not a mind reader. I can't see your eyes, but I know it's- No, no, I have my head turned. You looked at this cone. Because you were doing fine. And as soon as your front wheel got to that cone, you pulled the clutch in. No, 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 that ain't gonna work. Nope. Shit, I can't even do it that way. <laughs> Come on, you strong. Stop putting that foot down. Thanks, Jerry. Lean it, baby, lean it. Yeah, yeah, you're just not leading it, that's all. How you feeling, Joe? Okay, right now, man. Don't lie to me, man. I'm, I'm serious, I got the mic on. Okay. Just remember, I saw the whole thing, so don't bullshit me. You tell me what's going on, man. Yeah. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Got to work on that clutch control. What you're still doing is instead of, instead of head and eyes and turning from here, you're going like this. You're trying to swoop through this turn. You got to use the friction zone. So you're cutting across instead of just turning from here. I want you to turn from here. You're turning from here. Okay? Yep. All right. Nice catch, Joe. Nice catch. Nice catch. So you can hear Jerry's straight through. You can hear Jerry's throttle. It's up and then it goes down, then it comes up. Good. I just wanted you to go straight through, but it's cool. All right. Reload. Good. All right. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. What's happening? Oh, you want to go straight through? Okay. Dip it left. Lean it, baby. There we go. Lean it. Lean it. Lean it. There we go. Straight through. Dip left. No, you're still doing the same thing. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Stop. All right, you turn and then stop. And then we go into the figure eight. Nice, Joe. All right, stop, stop, figure eight. Good job. All right, stop, you already did, stop over there. Same thing as we just did, dip left, lean it. 
There we go, lean that baby. All right, good job. Watch those RPMs, they're high. All right, what do you got? So when you say I'm still doing the same thing, when I go into the turn, I want my body here, not here. I know that. Not right? about your body. It's about the motorcycle. What you're doing is this. When what you should be doing is this. So you're wasting a lot of space by doing that, okay? Straight through and stop at the other side. Whoa! Slow down, slow down. Good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Too slow. Watch that foot, watch that foot. Open up the clutch. No, no, no. Put one hand on this. The left hand on that grip. The left hand, left hand, huh? Sit down. No, sit down. Put your butt against the bike. Yeah, just like that. Nice and low. Take your other hand. Put it right there. Yep. And basically, you're going to be taking baby steps back. Baby steps. Push. Push. Come on. Baby steps. There we go. Yeah, that's the first thing we do. Stop and then stop. Nice, Sam. <laughs> You'll get it. All right, guys, we're going to move on to exercise number seven, figure eight. Any questions on that U-turn? Any questions on the U-turn? All right, listen, I know I can say this till I'm blue in the face. I implore you. Please stop putting your feet down, right? I know it's an instinct. This is why exercise number three is so important. I wish they would have taught me that crap when I was in wheel school, when I, my, my foot got caught under that damn thing, and I thought I broke my ankle. Don't put your foot down. This is the answer, right? And every time you do it and nothing happens, you're just playing Russian roulette with your ankle. It's just a matter of time. Is that what happened to Joe? That's what happened to him. And I always... It affects me differently because I'm always right there and I see it happen in real time. I see him put his foot down. I see that rear bar, that rear uh, in saddlebag guard catch his ankle and as the motorcycle is still moving, I'm watching his ankle twisting under his motorcycle, right? He said he's fine, he's walking on it, he's got ice on it, but he's also a man. Sometimes we're stubborn. I told him. Did he do that when he felt like it was falling? Yeah, okay, so because he pulled the clutch in. Your feet should never be down. <laughs> That's the whole point. Trust and believe. That's why we do trust and believe. Anyway, um, but I'm, you know, hopefully he's going to be okay. I tried to give him his money back because he's not a VI preloader. He's a pre he's a preloader. But when he emailed me, he gave me a phrase I'm always going to use. He said, "I'm not a VI preloader, but I'll pay the course to be the boss." Oh, I love that. I love that. Right. So, anyway. Uh, this is the figure eight. Um, same width as that U-turn, right? Penny, if you choose to decide to try this, when you guys come in here, you're gonna come to this corner, right? Now, Oak, what you're doing is you're, you keep giving up space. So if the line's here, you're starting your turn here. I need you to use all of the space that's provided for you if you need it. Come all the way over here. Head and eyes, I want you to look at that green cone. And you're gonna use all of the space that's available to you lengthwise too. So if you turn here and you give up five feet, you're gonna to have to make it up down there. Now, if you're leaning the bike like Joe and Jerry, or if you're turning like Sam, you don't need all of this space. That's why I say use all the space you need. Anyway, head and eyes, handlebars, hold it, hold it. When you get right here, 12 o'clock, Look at that green cone and go for it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Don't start coming out here. Hold that turn, hold it. Penny, if you say, this is all I'm doing, you come out, I want you on this side of the green cone. That way you don't have to worry about the next turn. You can just worry about the first turn. For the rest of yous, 
When you get here, head nods. Again, this is about judgment and knowing what you're doing. You don't want to turn too late because then you're going to go over this line. And you don't want to turn too early because you're cutting yourself off. But you have plenty of room here. Nothing here is extreme. Head and eyes. Look at that green cone. Hold this turn. Hold it. When you get to the 12 o'clock spot, now look at that cone and go for it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Don't start coming out. Hold it. Hold it. Then you're going to do it again. You do it two times. And then the next, the next time you come out of this turn, when your head and eyes are on this cone, when you get to the 12 o'clock, now look at the exit and go for it. That's the exit. You go through, you leave any other way, no ka for you, incomplete exercise. All right? The two double cones are the exit. Yes, I forgot to say that. Every exercise out here, if you see double cones, that's an entrance and or an exit. So this, is the this is the entrance. That's the exit. All right, I'm going to run through it right quick. I'm sure you two are probably going to do it in the confines, or at least you're going to, I'm not going to say attempt. You're going to do it in four parking spaces, and that's fine. That's what I expect from you, too. Because, again, when we were in the U-turn, I told Joe, Joe is not committing to his lean right away. And that's why, at the end of it, he's swooping out of it. Because in the middle of that U-turn, he sees, I'm going to have to lean this more. And so he leans it more. But initially, he's not really comfortable doing that. That's advice for Joe. Many people would love to be getting that advice, right? But he's got different goals. That's what I mean. We all have different goals. All right? I'm going to run through it. See how I get on there, Penny? My saddlebags ain't getting scraped by my sneakers. Nice and easy. Start doing that, dear. Head nice. Head nice, nothing extreme. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Head nice. 12 o'clock, head nice. Hold it, hold it, hold it. If I do it in four parking spaces, you notice my throttle didn't change, right? It's the same. Just gotta lean more, that's all. Nice, Joe. Nice, Jerry. Watch that throttle. Let's keep it steady. I'm trying to stay in tune with it works. All right. RPMs are high. Just through the first half. That's it. First half. Come all the way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Learn. Turn. Turn. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's real, it's hard to concentrate on anything else if you're in pain. Woo! Trust and believe, baby. Good job. Joe! Joe!
Good job, Jerry. Next exercise. RPM's too high. And I think Joe's going again because the first time he did it, he had a little slip of the clutch. And that's when you heard his uh, floorboard scrape. He took care of it, trust and believe, but again, he wants it to be smooth. And there we go. Good job, Joe. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to move on to exercise number eight, offset double serpentine. All right, guys. Offset double serpentine, exercise number eight. Any questions on seven? So what we talked about in the single serpentine, remember I said to you a long, long time ago that your transitions have to be kind of quick? So that was relevant in here. And people might ask, I already said it to the camera, but now I'm gonna say it to Joe. They said, why would Joe go again? I said, Joe, go to the next exercise. And I see him back online. And I know why. Because when Joe went through the figure eight the first time, no, the second time, um, when he was making the right turn, slipped his clutch a little bit. So you heard his floor, his footboards scrape the ground. Doesn't matter, he trusted and believed he was fine, but he's a perfectionist. So he wanted to come back in and do it clean. That's what he did. So. Excellent job, Joe. Excellent job. All right. So that whole hold it, hold it, hold it, you heard me saying? Not ho, ho, ho. We are in the season. Same thing applies here. What also applies here is at no time should your handlebars be straight and your transitions need to have some quickness to them. Again, it's not like, it's not urgent, but it should be fluid. So if this is too wide for you, Penny, see the green cones? Instead of going through the gate, go around the green cones. But, but don't, I'm not giving you full reign for the whole parking lot to go around the green cones. So if you go around the green cones, your goal is to not go past that second line. Go through the two of them, is that right? Well, you're supposed to go through two, but I want you to go around. Okay, okay. But I want you to not go past this line. So you're between that cone and this line. That's the only thing different. Everything else I'm about to say applies to you as well. When you guys come in here, you're gonna come through this gate. Don't come through straight, come through like this. And as soon as you pass this, exercise number five, I want you to dip the motorcycle in this direction. And every time I tell people to do this, and sometimes I'm standing there going, come on, they say, screw you. And they go right for the gate. I don't want you to go right for the gate because now everything's tighter. Doesn't mean it's impossible, it's just more work. But this is like we're doing figure eights, mini figure eights, and we're still practicing throwing this motorcycle around. As Soon as you come over here, whip it over here, head nice, look at this gate, go for it, and hold it, hold it. So now when you get here, you're coming through like this, rather than going straight forward and coming like this. If you don't lean the motorcycle a lot, when you go to make this turn, you're gonna be all the way out here and you still gotta go through this gate. So. When I say dip it right, I mean dip it right. Come all the way over here. But again, it's all about timing. Don't, don't wait too late to turn, and now you're over here. Unless you're a penny. Now, penny is what I want you to do. Swing out wide, come all the way over, head and eyes, and you're gonna go around. So for the rest of you, when you come through here, as soon as you get here, head and eyes. Look at the gate you came from. Hold it, hold it. Oh, don't start coming out because then we're in the same spot I didn't want you to be in. Hold it, go for that gate, head nice, handlebars. Look at this, look at all this room I have. Hold it, hold it, head and eyes. Look at the gate I came from, hold it, hold it. Don't start straightening out, hold it, head nice. And so on and so forth. I'm gonna demonstrate it going down doing it that way. And then I'm gonna come back going right for the gates. But if you do it this way, it's like you're doing 
figure eights. All right? We're constantly turned. We're never straight. Don't be going too slow. Don't be going too fast. Keep it loaded. Listen to your throttle. Sam, listen to your throttle. It's too high. So before, you, before he left, the other Joe said to me, what's the problem with keeping it too high? I said, well, technique-wise, if his clutch is in the right place, he's fine. But you're going to burn that clutch out. The clutch is way too, I mean, the throttle is way too high. Okay? As soon as you come through here, dip. And a nice. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. the motorcycle, you gotta lean. Way more work the other way, for me, way more fun, but you know, like I always say, I ask you guys to do it, do it a certain way, and then at the end of the day, you do it how the hell you want to do it. <laughs> Any questions? Yep. All right, Joe. Now you see, Jerry's a, he's a throttle blipper. Working it out. Jerry! Ah, screw it. No, 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 hold up. He's coming back. No, I hear you. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> we have to now, otherwise Jerry's going to think he's special. <laughs> yeah, do it and come back. You don't have to if you don't want to. Just like everything else out here. No pressure. That's my fault. He saw me do that, so he did it. Dip it, Sam, dip it. They were like, are we supposed to come back? And I was like, oh yeah, now we're gonna come back because Jerry came back. <laughs> yeah, I know, I told him it's my fault. But you're a veteran, you, gotta know, you, you know what the hell I... <laughs> All right, Joe. Oh, he's coming back. Never mind. Ah, oh, look at the U-turn. Got to work on those RPMs. They're, they're very high, but he looks good. I have a sensitive throttle too, so it's more difficult to keep it, you know. I'm gonna try it out and see. Nice, nice and fluid. Out of one turn, into the other. Out of one turn, Head and eyes into the other. 
throw it over. Beautiful. Penny for your thoughts. Oh, he's coming back. I keep forgetting. What do you mean? It, 15. 15 feet. From this cone, from this gate to that gate, 15 feet. Beautiful, Joe. See, she's right on top of that cone. So see how wide she is now? Because she's right on top. And that's because she went through this gate instead of going around the green gate. That's my fault. I'll have her come back doing through it correct do it correctly. There we go. There we go. Keep the bike moving. That way you won't feel like you're going to fall. There we go. Head and eyes. Oh, she's going back through. Nice, nice swoop. She straightened out right there. Keep it lean and keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Nice head and eyes. Hey, Penny. So the only reason you messed up in the beginning, I'm taking the blame for it. If you start this wrong, everything else gets tight. You actually went through this gate when you should have came around here. But once you got over there, much better. Nice head and eyes, keeping the throttle steady. Just remember, when you're going around those turns, I see your foot doing this. And I see your motorcycle in the turn so you're already not that comfortable leaning the motorcycle. It's more uncomfortable if it's doing this. All right, so just drag it. Don't, don't stab at it. You ready, big guy? All right, Oak. No, he's not going to try. We're going to do it. Remember, just because I'm giving you a lot of space doesn't mean I want you to go fast. Nice and easy. Go around this green cone. Oak, go that way and come back this way. All right. I want you to come straight from that way. Let's go around that island, make a left. I'm not trying to make it more complicated for him. See how he leans with the motorcycle? I don't want him to do that. Okay, come to me, come to me. Come on, slow down, slow down. Come on, come on, come on. Go around the green cone. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I didn't say transition. You're going around the green cones. We got to crawl before we can walk. <laughs> but he should know they're kind of on the same level riding. So you guys want to go again or you're good? Go again, man. Oh, hold on. Let him go. Let him go. Yeah, come on. Hold on, Jerry. Come to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Green cone. Keep it loaded. Rear brake. Rear brake. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Good. Head and eyes over here. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good. Hold that turn. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Good, good, hold it. Up, get that foot up. Yeah, I got it. I caught it. 
Don't turn in the sand. <laughs> you can turn in the sand, but don't do it leaning. Got to turn that gold wing. Turn it, baby. And in the turn, stay in the friction zone. Keep it loaded. Keeping the loaded is not an issue for them. It's staying in the friction zone. Good, hold it. All the way over, all the way over, all the way over. All right, transition. Hold it, hold it. Oh, you're not through there. Good, good, good. So what Oak is doing is he's trying to will this motorcycle to turn instead of just turning the handlebars. Like you can see his body is going like this. That's not going to turn the motorcycle. You got to turn the handlebars. Turn them. Jerry's only the second VI preloader to go through my practice session with a tow hitch on his motorcycle. First guy that did it actually pulled the trailer here and disconnected it. I forget his name, but it was the earlier sessions. It was a little chilly out. Nice, Jerry. See how it turns it deliberate. Boom. Fall right into it. Nice and fluid. Boom. 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 Nice. Nice. Figure eight, I mean, snowman's next. All right, RPMs are sounding a little bit better. A little high there.
Penny, start over. Penny, start over, start over. Start over. You can't hear me. And what Penny did wrong again, even though there's more space, she's going, she's too close to this gate. She should be all the way out here. Snowman. Snowman. Penny's looking good. There we go. The head and eyes are beautiful. Nice. She held that nice. She's staying within the confines of that lane. All right, a little wide on that one, but looking really good. Really good. Very nice. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to exercise number nine, the abominable snowman, baby. The exercise you've all been waiting for, the abominable snowman. And like I said, I always say I love this exercise because there's something in here for all of us. Four circles, 27 feet, 25 feet, 22 feet, Joe and Jerry, 18 feet, all right? Keep in mind, a circle tighter than a box, so, if your nipples got hard because you made an 18 foot U-turn in the U-turn, exercise number six, that's not, that doesn't mean it's gonna happen here, all right? But here's what I will tell you. This is all about hold it, hold it, hold it again. Really, that's all this is. Once you get into the circle, head and eyes, hold it. And wheel placement. Now, in 27 feet, for us, that might not be tight, but if you're still learning this, it is gonna be tight. So if it is, don't rip yourself off. If you're gonna make a right turn when you come in here, I want you to put your wheel right here. And then I want you to hug these two cones. Don't start turning right here. That's what I used to think. I used to think I just need to get in here and just lean it over. That's not gonna work up there. Hug these two cones. And when you get up here, now we're gonna commit. Hold it. If you're going right back out, look at the exit. But if you're going to the next, or if you wanna go around twice, you can go around twice and then go out. But if you're gonna to go to the next circle, Hold it, hold it. When you get right here, I know a lot of people don't feel comfortable having their head like this the whole time. So do it in increments. So if you, if, when you're at the top, look right here. Now it's only a half turn instead of this. And then when you get right here, look right there because that's where we're going. And the same thing applies. When you come in here for a left turn, dip the motorcycle over a little bit, put the wheel right here and then hug these two cones and now commit. A lot of people think I need to be keeping up my speed when I come in here. You really don't because you can come in here and do exercise number two. If you want to make sure that your wheels are exactly where you want them, you can kind of slow down and put yourself where you want to be and then you can kind of pick up from there, you know. Totally up to you. Any questions? This is the entrance. Notice there's no double cones down there. That means this is also the exit. So you go up. This is where you come back out. All right, let me, oh, thanks, Jerry. Oh, Jerry, I'm telling you, you don't even know, man, how much energy you saved me today. That's what I'm talking about. Preloaded nation, above and beyond personalities. Hold this turn, head and eyes. Keep the throttle steady, steady, steady. Come all the way over here. Right here, hug these, commit. Notice nothing scraping. It's not extreme, really. So you notice when I'm in that top circle, you don't hear anything scraping, right? That's all about the fact that if I put my wheels right where they need to be and then go all the way to the top of that circle and then commit, it's so much more room. 
But if I do anything other than that, now I got to really lean it over to make that turn. And usually people don't put their wheels in the right place in there. They wind up hitting the last cone right before the exit. All right? Any questions? All right, let's do it. <laughs> Of course, if we do it right, we got to do it left. And it's always going to scrape over here because I got the kickstand over here. All right, we got Joe first. Nice, Joe. Very nice. Excellent. Excellent. Jerry flipping that throttle. Jerry's been nice enough. This voluntary. I didn't ask him to, but he saw it and he acted on it. I have to carry my camera and then go back and get the motorcycle. Jerry's been taking the motorcycle for me and I appreciate that. Stand up guy. And then he also took it through um, exercise number eight. There we go. There we go. Nice, Jerry. Very nice. Trusting and believing. Now, if Jerry came in here and just kept his throttle steady and kept his clutch in one spot in the friction zone, that's a lot smoother. But you notice that it's, it's, um, it's, his throttle is, he's blipping it. So it's, uh, 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 uh. and when you start getting in tighter stuff, that's when you feel it more. Because when, the more you lean the motorcycle, the more at risk you are of dropping it. So you're going to feel that stuff more. So if we smooth it out when the circle is big, we won't have to worry about it when the circle gets small, blur. Seventy-two degrees, guys. Seventy-two degrees. It feels hotter. That's because it's just sun, sun, sun. I'm, I'm not a. I'm loving it. December third. All the way over. All the way over. Good. Lean it. Turn it. Turn it. You're good. Lean it. Lean it. All right. His wheel placement looked good from where I was, just didn't lean the motorcycle enough. You going, Penny? No? Okay. No, 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 you're good, you're good. Joe, I'm going the other way now? Go the other way. So last time you started here on the right side, start on the left. All 
All right, Joe's going again. And this time, if you start one way, the second time, you go the other way. So this time when he gets up to the uh, head of the snowman, he'll be making a right turn. Very nice, nice wheel placement. Excellent, Joe. Excellent, nice and smooth. Notice his throttle, it's, the, it's just steady the whole time. All right, Jerry. Opposite way now. So now Jerry will be making a, a right turn up here also. No, a left turn, he made it right before. I don't remember. And even in that circle, Jerry's using all of the space. Had a little burst of speed there, shot him up, but he's good. He just leaned it more. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, Jerry. Jerry makes it look interesting, but it always ends up, <laughs> it always ends up being uh, successful at the end. Very nice. Doing the maze next. All right, I know Sam's coming back up here. He doesn't like right turns, so maybe he's not. We'll see. I don't want him. I don't want him to feel like I'm pressuring him by standing here. Keep it loaded. Lean it. Lean it. Lean it. Lean it, lean it. Not enough lean, that's all. Yeah. Well, Sam is good. Nice and steady. And now, you hear? His RPMs are not too high any, anymore. So hopefully he's worked that out. I'm gonna say he has, because it's been good the whole time he's been in here. Beautiful. All right, guys, bonus time, the maze. Welcome to the maze 2.0 version. Apparently, I'll just, I, I must say to myself, it's only taking me 40 minutes to set this up. Let me add something else so it can take me a little bit longer. So it's the maze, plus I put an 18-foot uh, keyhole in there. Uh, Again, this is all bonus stuff, like everything else, there's no pressure. But what I will say is this. Now, Joe, remember I told you before you were kind of swooping through turns? Yeah. Well, no, that's not true. You weren't swooping through them. You were committing late and then having to. So that's, that's extremely relevant trying to exit a keyhole. If you pick up all of that speed, it's more difficult to write it to get out of there. All right? So all you guys are doing, remember, the maze is still the same, 18-foot U-turns. If you start over here, you're making two lefts and one right. Start over here, two rights and one left. I put green cones in here now, so it's a little less confusing. Just go around the green cones. One, two, three. And once you get here, if you want to ignore that keyhole, just come straight out. And then do it in the opposite direction. We're going to get that out of the way now. If you decide to go in the keyhole, once you get in the keyhole, whichever way you want to go is fine. But the next time you do it, go the opposite way. Then, going this way, same thing. Whatever way you go in the keyhole, the next time you do it, go the opposite way. Any questions on that? Let me run through it. And uh, Sam, 
your throttle was perfect in the snowman. Like I was saying, I said, I think you figured it out because it's not too high. And then as I'm walking over here, I hear <laughs> But that was off camera, so it didn't happen. I say about that keyhole is the faster you go in there the more you you know you like like I said in exercise number five you're just forcing yourself to have to do transitions quicker but if you go in there like exercise number two you got all the space in the world oh, let me not say that all right show them how it's done Joe and Jerry very nice And that's because, again, too much speed. There we go. All right, Jerry. Head and eyes, Jerry. Yeah, good. That's right. Hey, Joe. So remember we talked about that swoop, right? That's why the first time you came through here, there was so much of a swoop here. That's why it was so hard for you to get in here. And this is why you messed up this turn. Make sure when you make this turn, go as deep as you can. So it gives you more room and time. And then when you were coming out of that other turn, you locked up the rear wheel because again, it was like, but man, that was beautiful. Up, uh, up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh. Oh, man. That's why I put a camera there, too, because it's not going to be appreciated from that angle alone. Try it from that way again. I'm going to use them. Follow the leader, which I'm sure you'll be a part of. I used to mess around with follow the leader. Now I just get people out right away. <laughs> people got stuff to do. <laughs> go deep. There we go. Go nice and deep. See that swoop? Yeah. 
cut yourself short. Jerry, you going again? Now, Jerry, you you hitting cones in here. You shouldn't be hitting cones in here. Turn, lean that baby. Now, again, I'm saying that to Jerry because, again, Jerry's got different goals. Jerry and Joe just did lock and lean, a three-day course. So they're always looking for something new and challenging. Oh, thanks. Jerry, do the whole thing over, because you hit a cone. Unacceptable. <laughs> I'm just messing with him. Keep hitting that same cone. Going again, Joe? Yeah, yeah, I'll go one more time. Who are you kidding? If you don't get it, you're gonna go two more times. I already know it.
much of a swoop here. That's why it was so hard for you to get in here. And this is why you messed up this turn. Make sure when you make this turn, go as deep as you can. Which is more room in time. Then when you were coming out of that other turn, you locked up the rear wheel because again it was like But man, that was beautiful. Huh? 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 Oh man. That's why I put a camera there too, because it's not gonna be appreciated from that angle alone. Try it from that way again.
Break it out, Jerry. It's the throttle blipping. It's hard to keep that motorcycle steady when you're blipping the throttle. It's the throttle blipping. All right, Joe. Good job, man. You kept clipping that same cone right there. I don't. That's an electric glide, which is pretty the same thing as this. I have a street glide, yeah, and I have a. They're all the same size, really. Some. Just That's a, road, a an electric glide is a road king with a fairing. You were a little early on this turn. Yeah, you just, you started to turn early, and that's the reason why it was so tight up here. And because you started it early, you really had to lean it to make it, which you did, but then again, now it's difficult to get out of that lean to get out of this keyhole. So I didn't get up to that other... Nah, you were right here. Okay. This way you started. So, yeah. And that look, that little bit of space. Try it again. So this is, this is another example of, this is not a skill issue, it's a wheel placement issue. <laughs> good, good. Good, good. Hold it, hold it. Good. Let's see, it's the same issue. The speed. And that's the key to the keyhole. Yes, you can make the turn, but if you swoop that turn, you still got to make it out. That speed, it's hard to recover from that hard to ride the motorcycle so that's why you get in there and whatever speed you're going initially you stay at that speed meaning you have to commit to the lean right away and stay there wherever you are in the friction zone stay there he's not coming what it does, what it is also is he's not coming to the left and hugging as, as much as he should. Yeah. So that means, and when he gets to the top, now he's he's leaning it over a whole lot. Really, really. So he coming in here, Joe, a lot of speed. Coming in the circle with a lot of speed. Yeah, you're coming in the keyhole with a lot of speed. And then, and because you're going so fast, again, you got to make decisions quick. And you take, you made that turn early again. Gotcha. Oh yeah, that counts as gear. I thought it was just to keep you warm. I get my head on the ground, standing still on my bike. How, how, with a helmet on? I fell over with my scooter. I dropped, I fell over because I leaned down to grab the Same cone. Yep. And I hit my head on the ground. So now I always wear everything. Yeah, There we go. See, now he's going to be good because he came all the way over to the left. And this one should be good too. Yep, there we go. There we go. All right, Joe, sometimes people work better under pressure. Last time.
All right, guys, follow the leader. I hope Jerry didn't block that because he might have been standing in front of the camera. I don't know. But follow the leader coming up. Follow the leader. Do what I do the way I do it. If you hit a cone, you're out. Pull into the middle. Don't pull where all the sand is. People kill me when they do that. Pull into the middle of the parking lot. We're going to do one circle around you. We're going to honk our horns. Saying bye-bye. We'll see you later. <laughs> don't worry. You won't, whoever's in the middle, you won't be alone for long. If you put a foot down, you're out. Pull into the middle. If you do something different than the way I did it, you're out. When I stop and make a turn, you need to pull up and stop where I was and make a turn. And if I'm on the line, you choose to be over here, you're out. Okay? If you roll on the grass with concrete, with boarded concrete, you're out. Any questions? If I'm if I'm doing a slow ride, if the person behind me puts their foot down, they're out. I mean directly behind me. If you put your foot down before them, you're out. But if they put their foot down and then you have to put yours down, you're not out. You clear? I'll be watching it. We work on the honor system. But if I don't catch it, camera will.
to the videos and thought I was a black guy mm, That's hard to get over I'm falling in this world but I'm fully devoted I don't take it for granted that the doors been open I knew I was different, I knew I was chosen A breadwinner but I'm soft spoken Authentic like a 5950 and there's no cat Let's have a toast to that Let's have a toast for the real ones Let's have a toast for the real Let's have a toast for the real ones Let's have a toast for the real Welcome to the slow race. Here's the rules. The winner is the loser. In the, these parking lot bays, that's the finish line. Whoever's rear wheel goes over it last is the winner. I'm gonna put my hand up in the air. I'm gonna say on your mark, get set, go. When I say go and my hand comes down, if your foot is still on the ground, just stay there, you're out. When you start moving, if you put a foot down, you're out, just stay there. If you run over any of the lines on the sides of you, you're out, just stay there. Any questions? VI preloaded, start your engines. On your mark, get set, go. Poke it out. Ah, Jerry's the winner. You got it, Jerry. Do it again. Do it again. All right. Jerry's giving himself a handicap. He's got to be at least a motor runner. All right. There's gotta be at least one motorcycle lift. All right. On your mark. Get set. Go. Huh? You got it, Jerry. Joe, you want any more of him or do you concede? I concede. All right. <laughs> did you enjoy yourself? Yes, I did. Do you remember what you rated yourself when you first came out? A four. Any change in that? I think, I, I think I'm still a four. Okay. I need to work on it. Okay, good. Pleasure meeting you. And like I said, looking forward to seeing you and your husband out here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Who that breeze feels good. Did you enjoy yourself? I did. Tremendously. You did awesome, man. As usual. You remember what you rated yourself when you came out? I think, uh, was it seven or six or seven? Any change in that number? I feel like I've improved. I think, uh, it seems like every time I come here, I learn something. And um, the thing you taught me about on the tight U-turn is getting my lean in early mm -hmm. at first. Mm -hmm. It was really important. And um, 
like a technique of coming out of the turn and trying to get into a keyhole where you got to like really control that speed. Mm -hmm. That really helps there. So okay. I learned, yeah, I learned that. So I feel like I'm a better rider. Absolutely. He didn't give us a number and he doesn't have to because I don't want him to piss me off, give me a low number. So he said six or seven. We'll leave it at that, man. <laughs> Pleasure seeing you again, man, all the time. Same, same here. You did awesome. You enjoy yourself? I had a blast. Good, man. You did well as usual. You remember what you rated yourself when you came out? Uh, I think I said a six. Any change in that? Uh, since I made it through a keyhole, I'm going to go with a seven. All right. See, I get rid of you guys quick before you change your mind. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again, Jerry. Oak, my brother, did you enjoy yourself? I did enjoy myself. Good, good. Do you remember what you rated yourself when you first came out today? 0.5. Any change in that number? I'd say 1.5. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. That's all we want is progress. Yep. Pleasure, man. Keep up with it. I will. All right? All right. Thank you. All right, guys. It's a wrap. I want to thank the VI preloaders for helping me out, picking up the cones. I want to, again, thank Jerry for helping me out, just coming to get Angel for me. That alone probably, um, I'm not going to feel it as much tonight because I, don't have to, I didn't have to do all of that extra walking. I'm, ta I'm starting to learn that when, I'm, when my hips are sore at the end of the day, it's because of all the walking. I'm standing all day except when I get on the motorcycle to do a quick demonstration. But we had a blast out here. It's 75 degrees. It's December 3rd. I said it before. I'll say it again. If your motorcycle is in hibernation, but you have a trailer and you want to come out here and hang out and practice, guys, put it in the trailer and get down here. Let's do this. All right? All right, listen. Guys, I want to thank you guys for spending the time with me that you have. I know there's anything you could be doing with your time. And the fact that you choose to spend a little, a little bit of it with me, that's always appreciated. Um, spend more time being thankful for the things that you have, guys, and less time complaining about the things that you don't. We had some strides out here, right? There was progress made out here. Um, seat time doesn't equal practice time, guys. I don't care how long you've been riding your motorcycle. I don't care how many miles you've ridden. You have to get out there and practice slow speed riding. This is the skill that's really going to give you the confidence that you need and the skill to know how to ride your motorcycle. You need to learn how to ride and be confident at slow speeds, one to 10 miles per hour. All right, guys, love you guys. Practice session number 60, out. I was gonna do a mic drop, but I don't wanna break this. <laughs>